I was searching my freezer and I found bush rat that was sent to me since December last year, 2022. Have you tried eating bush rat before? Well, I'm a proper thief girl from Benue State and bush rat is one of our special delicacy. So I'll be teaching you how to make pocho with bush rat today. So this is my bush rats. Are you going to try this out? Tell me, will you try this out? So these are the ingredients I'll be using. I'll be using fresh pepper, the fresh red pepper, yellow pepper, a little onion. I'll be using dawa dawa, also known as nune, uziza seed, also known as yi yi. And then my bush rats, palm oil, seasoning cubes, and salt. So I'll be boiling water. That's the first step I'm going to do. I'll boil water and add in the rats i also go ahead and add salt to help bring out the death and kill any germs in this my today shout out goes to favor aggie ipole thank you for watching and sharing my videos all the time please if you want me to send you a shout out also comment and tell me where you are watching from so i'll go ahead and blend these ingredients in my blender you can try to do away with the uziza seed but i love using uziza seed for my um bush meat bush rats bush meat if you eat bush uh, meat you can eat bush rats it's not a rat, rat in the house it's not mouse it's um rats like the one in the bush it's very yummy so i'll go ahead and blend the ingredients and then i'll go ahead and wash these rats after two minutes of pouring the hot water in it i'll be washing this properly because it has a lot of dirt see this see a lot of sand in there after washing the first wash so i'm going to be washing it three to four times depending on how clean it turns out to be please and please always remember to watch my videos share comment it means a lot to me can you see how clean this rat is so i'm going to pour it in my pot i'll go ahead and add my grinded ingredients i'll also be adding my palm oil my seasoning cubes salt and then i will add water to eat there are different ways of making pocho some people decide to fry their ingredients with like fry the palm oil the peppers together before adding water and the meat but um it all depends on what you want traditionally we don't fry you just pour everything direct like this add water and boil tell me do you like how i cook I think I'm trying my best. I'm doing my best. So please always try to encourage me by sharing my videos. So I'll go ahead and stir this right now. Stir it properly just for everything to mix together. And then I will cover this and allow this to cook for just 15 to 20 minutes. The water in your pocho depends on how watery or how thick you want it to be. So 20 minutes later, see my pocho here. Can you see how nice it is looking? When you keep this to set you see oil on top. So see our bush rat looking so yummy. I know some of you will be saying, ah, no, you can't eat this. Man, this is sweet. If you eat bush meat, you can eat bush rat, except you don't eat any bush animal. So this is our yummy pocho. Can you see this is the consistency I'm looking for? Not too thick, not to running i want to say a big thank you to all of you who keep watching and sharing my video it means so much to me god bless you always and always remember to stay out of trouble so our pocho will be going down with pounded yam